In this demonstration, we're going to see how to configure a scissor lift model for hardware in the loop testing. We have a model of a scissor lift with a hydraulic actuator. We are satisfied with the results of our simulation on our desktop computer. We now have to configure the model for real time testing. However, portions of the model are numerically stiff. We'll need to configure the model so that it is ready for real time testing and convert it to C code. We'll use Simscape local solvers and Simulink Coder to do this. Here are the steps that we'll go through. First, we'll configure the model to use a fixed step, fixed cost solver appropriate for real time testing. We will rerun the model on our desktop and verify that we still get accurate results. Next, we'll convert the model to C code and download it to the real time target. There, we'll run the simulation again, upload the results, and ensure that we're still getting the same results and that there were no overruns. Finally, we'll perform our test. We'll vary a parameter in the system, rerun it on the real time target, and see that the parameter value had an effect on the results of the simulation. I'll now switch over to the model so you can see how this is done. Here is our model of the scissor lift. You can see here we have three mechanical stages and we have a model of the hydraulic actuation system modeled in Simscape with a single acting hydraulic cylinder, hydraulic valves, and other components. The results of the simulation are shown on this scope and an animation of the mechanical system is shown in the Mechanics Explorer from Simscape Multibody. We will use a MATLAB script to walk through the steps of configuring this model for real-time simulation. First, we need to collect a set of reference results. These are taken with the variable step solver and will be used to confirm the accuracy of our fixed step, fixed cost simulation. The simulation is complete. We will take the results and add them to a MATLAB figure window to use them to compare accuracy of following steps. Here you can see an animation of the results where we simply raise and lower the scissor lift. Now we'll configure the model for real-time simulation and collect those results. You can see we're using a fixed step solver. The local solver has been enabled in this block and we will add those results to our figure window. You can see that the results from the fixed step simulation are very close to our reference results. We are happy with this result and we'll continue with our process. In the next step, we will configure the runtime parameter. This is the value we wish to change in our hardware in the loop test. We're going to increase the value of a heavy mass on top of the platform using this MATLAB variable. This parameter has been set to a runtime parameter in Simscape Multibody, enabling us to change its value without regenerating code. Now we will convert the model to C code and download it to the real time target. The real time target can be seen here, and the simulation results will be displayed on this window. Messages about the code generation process are shown in the MATLAB command window. The model has been downloaded to the real time target. We will connect to the target and run the simulation. We can see that the simulation is running. You can see the results on the monitor, which is connected to our real time target. At the conclusion of the simulation, we will upload the simulation results from the target and add it to our plot. Here you can see the results from the real time target exactly match the results from the desktop. Now we will perform our test. We will modify the value of the mass on the platform and then rerun the simulation on the real time target. So the test is already running. You can see it on the results on the monitor. At the conclusion of this test, we will upload those results and add them to our plot to see if the change, the altered value had an effect on the performance. And we can see that it did. We can see that with the heavier mass, the lift did not raise as quickly. In this demonstration, we have seen how to configure a scissor lift model for real-time testing.